to another episode of Sassy Sales Ops. I'm Hillary Kay, your host, and today we're going to be talking about how to set permissions on objects or custom permissions with inside of all of your profiles, just like inline editing. Um, I think when the, I don't know if, you know, some of you remember when Salesforce kind of fucked up and gave everyone a modify all permission a, a couple years ago um, and the only solution for them to you know take that away from everyone was just to wipe out every you know all the company's uh, permissions yeah I think I got back from a, a trip from Europe and got a call from my boss at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning freaking out that no one could log into the system all the permissions were gone, even us as admins. It was an absolute nightmare. Um, as you guys can imagine, right, going through all of these profiles with all of the permissions that are in Salesforce, it's not an easy task as it is, especially when you inherit things. Like I inherited an org where, you know, someone made tons of profiles for God knows what reason. And, um, you know, just for one person to go through that, it could take you an entire month. So, um, you know, some of those permissions, uh, like the modify all, um, you know, all those permissions that you want to understand what's going on in these profiles at a quick glance. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, basically like a profile inline edit view um, so you can see those. So basically what you do is, you know, I would just hit edit on your all profiles um, button. Um, and let's just uh, let's just go for the easy ones here. So let's just um, say that this is going to be our account permissions. And down here you can under the um, columns to display. And sometimes, like uh, you know, for me, I have all of my users on custom um, custom profiles, so I can edit them as needed. Because we all know the standard ones, you can't really edit those. Um, so I've gone through and made sure all of my users are on custom profiles so I can edit them and take permissions away when I need to or add them in. Um, again, you can always use permission sets, but this is just kind of looking there. So you can add filters on this if you'd like. Sometimes I do that, um, which is why that was popping up. But this is my dev org, so um, you know it doesn't really matter which one of these show up. I would just get an error if I did try to update any of this, the standard profiles. Um, so down here on fields to display, I'm just going to type in account. Um, so anytime you're looking for um, objects or specific permissions, um, you'll just go ahead and type that in and then you just have to press the find button because um, it doesn't do that automatically. But I just go through, hit my command button, select all of these um, and come over. And then, right, these are all the read, create, edit, delete, view all, modify all for each object. And you can go ahead and you can create as many of these as you want. I just hit save as, um, and then you go through them. And what you do is now you can go back to this list view. Um, and as you can see, I can select, you know, whatever profiles I want to and make sure. So here's my like custom ones I created. So if I don't want these users to be able to delete accounts, which, right, you don't want I don't ever want my users to delete anything um, so I you know would go through here and then just make sure that these specific um, profiles could not delete anything so that's a really fast way for me instead of opening up each profile which is a nightmare I don't know you know Salesforce is such a dinosaur sometimes even though it's like you know the greatest CRM system that we have today um, but that's a that's a quick and easy way where you can go through all of your um, profiles really fast um, and you know unselect those things and for example um, you know the modify all permission is pretty um, you know pretty big so you want to make sure that um, you know you know who in your system has this uh, so you would just go down here and kind of click this so modify all data Oof, what the hell happened um, Computer's freaking out. Modify. All right, so I'm gonna go find that. I'm gonna pull that over. And when I can see that, so I'll just go ahead and save. I think I saved over my other account one. I think that's what happened on accident. Um, so great, none of my users have the modify all permission. That's exactly what I um, don't want, right? But you know, again, if you have a custom 
um, sys admin. I mean, you should already have this, or if you want to give certain, you know, modified sys admins the modify all data, you could do it this way, you know, super quickly. Um, you know, or again, I would recommend that if you have to give that to anyone, um, use it in a very strict permission set um, and make sure none of your none of your other profiles really have this on here. Um, so that's a quick way to go through any of your objects. Again, I would just hit save as, not save, I think the computer did that on me, um, an accident, but again, you know, you can go through, um, select opportunities. I'll just do it one more time for you to see it. And the objects pull up and you can hit, either hit shift and go all the way down or, uh, command again, save as, and then you're just going to save um, you know, new lists for yourself and you can go through so you can see who can, you know, read, create, edit, delete at like a very fast pace because it's all, um, inline editing. So again, if this was super helpful for you, go ahead and click the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Um, that's all I have for you this week, but go ahead and I will, um, see you on the next episode.